Right, totally amazing here. Okay. We've got some semblance of things starting to look a bit normal again. Have I really just gone and um, fixed this TV, bearing in mind it broke down on Friday evening? Ordered the parts on Friday night. Parts delivered all the way from the United States on Monday morning. Am I saying that that TV is fixed, am I? Have I really found the problem with a Vestal 17PW26-4 power supply board on that Xenius TV? Is that what I'm saying? Because it looks like I've put that telly back now, don't it? That tells us one or two things. I've either fixed it and I know my stuff, or I haven't. And I don't know what that's going to do when I plug that in. I have no idea. It might go bang, it might not. Either way round it, I do not do fake, and I do not do BS on my channel. I do not. Right. What I said before was it was stuck in standby off after what happened with three blinking lights. What I'm proclaiming is that I've solved the problem. We'll plug this in in a minute. And it turned out to be those two parts. That's quite an astonishing claim if it is. Just two simple parts. That when they let off... Stop that whole TV from working. That's what I'm proclaiming. That's what my notes say. That's what it was. There was one that was suspected, but I didn't get round to doing that because I wanted to see if I was right. Now, either the engineer's right, or I'm wrong. I can't be both. I can't be right and wrong, and I can't be wrong and right. Without further ado, I think we should plug that in. But there's your two dead components there, if you can see them. There they are. The stood right now. Now, as we said before, that power light that was on that telly. There it is there. Right now. That was blinking three times. And the rest of the telly wouldn't come on. I think you can guess what's about to happen, can't you? I think, oh yeah, I think you can. I think we're going to plug this in. Don't know what will happen. Let's plug him in. Well, there's that power light on. And it ain't blinking. So, have I fixed that board then? It's not blinking, is it? Have I fixed it? I reckon what we should do is chuck some power in that. Ah, let's get some power in it. Well, we've already got power, but. Hello, come on, on you come. Are you going to turn on? Is it there? Come on. Well, this is not going to look very good, is it? If I can't get that power on. Hello. I guess I was wrong then, was I? It's not blinking anymore, but... Oh, hello. Yeah, look at that, see? Of course he knew his stuff. There we are. We'll just wait for that. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's just joyous, that, isn't it? There we go. I would call that a bit of a win. Ha <laughs> ha. I think that's a win, that. Right. So it, it was that, then. It was just those two parts. But C860... 2,200 microfarads at 6.3 volt. Well, that would be that silly little thing. Total cost, I think it was less than 40 pence. This is what I mean. Um, I replaced it with part number, and this is from DigiKey. 
of 1189-1455-ND. The second component was C818, um, and this is on the LV side, uh, that drives the logic board. That was 2,700 microfarad at 16 volt, and I replaced that with part number 1189-2957ND, uh, November Delta, and that's that part there. Total cost, probably about 60 pence. I will, um, I'll go into the whole DigiKey thing in another video. Now there was a suspect component at location C851, a 1000 microfarad at 16 volt. Now funny enough, I haven't purchased those brand new. Turned out I managed to scavenge one off of another power supply. However, um, it, it, it didn't need to be replaced. It turned out to be just those two parts. So that's that's all well and done. Now, I will be doing a shotgun replacement on all of those, uh, all of those passives anyway. The reason being because they're well, the rest of those are probably near the end of their serviceable life. So we will we'll have to go through the whole rigmarole again at some point of stripping the whole TV down again. Um, to redo it. Now a lot of people will say well why didn't you do all that to begin with? Because I wanted to find out just where the fault was. Now we can go and uh, re replace all of the other parts in there anyway. So looks like now that's all working again. And I definitely think that is time for a bit. Oh boy. But I mean, I got that done relatively quickly as well. Um, from Friday night, couldn't do anything Saturday, Sunday. Um, let's see, Friday night, it was something like that. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then uh, done on the Monday. Yeah, so that's, that's turned out to be pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Very happy. Oh, now what I've got to do is uh, get everything rewired back up again, but I'm not going to do that straight away. Um, I might actually just wait until I've done the replacement of all the other parts and then rewire it all up. Might do, but what I might actually do, in fact, no, what I will do is I'll get my HDMI all hooked up, get the server hooked up again, and we'll check that it's all running properly. But can you believe it? Can you bloody believe it though? People chucking away TVs they could do for something so stupid as those two pissy little components. This is the whole thing that I'm getting at. Two tiny little components collectively worth less than three pounds. And people would be tempted to go and sling that in the skip. I wouldn't. I wouldn't because I'm not that wasteful but you see the point two little pissy components like that and a lot of people would wig that in the bin now I am sort of pissed though because I've had to spend all that money on other shipping but in fairness I'll cover DigiKey at a later uh, well in, the, in another video I also went out for the purpose and got an oscilloscope um, which cost me 60 quid. Now, am I annoyed about that? Sort of, because I could have... No, I didn't necessarily need it, but actually once you've bought it, as Russ says, once you've got it, you've got it. So, overall though, I'm, I'm um, not upset really about it. But, yeah, in fact, no, I'm not actually. I'm not at all. That's going to turn itself off, isn't it? Right, okay. Well, we can just do that. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So it's working again, then. Great. Ooh. And an appreciation to Hannah as well, actually. She said, oh, yeah, good luck. Um, hopefully that was uh, 
sincerely man but anyway look at that look at that that's buzzing in it for the sake of two shitty little components all that f fuss and song and dance over two stupid little components there look jeepers mate jeepers now Xenius who well Vestal rather who the uh, the ones I'm annoyed with because the, the hell is Sam X on? Is that meant to be, I mean, <laughs> look at that. That's stupid, isn't it? Look at that. Is that meant to be a wordplay on Samsung or something? Stupid little thing that is. There you are. Sam X on. What kind of numpty thought of that, eh? And then there's this one, Chang. God, it makes you sick, doesn't it? No, no, Chang. I thought that was a beer. I thought that was a beer. It sounds like the name of one. Oh, it makes you laugh, doesn't it? Those two knocked out the whole tally. And a couple of other things. Anyway, this story doesn't end here, actually, because I've been commissioned by someone else to fix another tally, and this one really has got problems, because I've got the power board here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you something real sad. Oh, look at that. Burnt right out. It popped. It popped it. Now this one, this will make you laugh because that's another one of those Vestel power boards as well. I can't find the serial number on it, but I know it's Vestel. Now, anyway, ah, there it is. It's the 17PW15-8 on that. So, 17PW, what was it? 15-8. So, this one is around three series below the one that's in mine. Look at the state of that. I've gone out to repair Look at that, makes you sick, doesn't it? Now the problem is with that component there, that's going to be um, polyester, by the looks of that, a polyester ca capacitor in it. Well, that's that's gone thermonuclear on it, if you can see that. Now, as I said, that's not out of my telly, that's out of someone else's that I've been commissioned to fix. But it's not just burn that up, it's burned that transformer out as well. Took down that coil, knocked out that resistor, blown out the fuse as well. So that was a hell of a bang, that one. And uh, I were there to see that. I can assure you, not nice. But, there we are. I'm quite happy with the way that mine's turned out, though. I think that is what we call a reasonable repair. That's more than reasonable. And I now can get back to my sort of usual stuff. That's just going to have to wait on the, uh, the workbench when I've done all of the other jobs. Um, customer said just take your time with it anyway. Um, so, yeah, don't mind if I do. I'll uh, probably have that done... Maybe, in fact, no, I'll probably have that done in the next couple of weeks or something. Maybe sooner. Um, they're not in a desperate hurry for it. Um, but, whatever. I'm happy with that. As I said, though. Yeah, look at that. All the volume's working. Channels are working. Look, see? I just don't watch TV because, well, look. Are we talking 700 and... 95 channels of useless shite that you have to pay a license for. I'd rather not. I'll just hook it up to my uh, to my server, thank you very much. But I think what I've done there is more than reasonable for the sake of those two little components. There you are. So if you've got a Vestal 17PW26-4, it's those two components on those Xenius TVs that you'll need to sort out if you get stuck on standby like that. Mm. Mm. Now, 
there's another one as well that you'll have to change out and I think that's I can't remember the position of that it might be C898 or 830 but it's the big one on there and that's made by the insane shitty Sam Exxon people and uh, it's the big one right it's 450 volt is it 150 microfarad it's a bloody big one right, it's the big can on there you'll you'll have to change that as well um but i just recommend shotgun changing everything out anyway as, as it's known as a shotgun replacement boom what that means is just change out all the parts that are there all those electrolytics because they only have a shelf life then of around seven years anyway so that's it um that's reasonable actually more than reasonable what i've done at least now we've changed out the, the two that i thought it was um and it confirmed it actually more than adequately confirmed it so i knew what i was on about then i knew i knew what i was on about and that confirms it but just to be safe, we'll just swap everything out anyway. Then it's done for another seven years. Hopefully. Or until something else goes wrong. Which I hope not. Now, in the next video, we're going to have a look at these guys. DigiKey. I am very impressed by them. Very. So, thank you all for staying subscribed. Love you all to pieces. All right. Thank you for your continuing likes as well, your views. It all means a lot. And as always, stay amazing. Oh, we forgetting to. Can you hear it? Can you hear that? I bet you can. Can you hear that? I know what that. It sounds like ringy ding. A lot like what was it? Like GTBO, was it? What does that stand for? Yeah, you know what's going. Get the bell on. See you later. There you go. I'll let you have a look at that for a while. Look at that. All running. Good that, isn't it? I am well happy, mate. For the sake, two shitty little components. There we are. I'm more than happy with that. Until I go and knock my bloody beer over. That would be funny, wouldn't it? Blow everything out. Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh! Ha <laughs> Yeah, mate. Well happy. Mmm. That is so good, that. Oh, it's so good. Now you know all people where to go if you need your uh, your stuff fixed. Everything from consoles, game pads, phones, laptops, computers, delis, washing machines, tumble dryers, toasters, hair dryers, you name it. I do the lot. No holes barred, no exceptions. Hell, I even do cars as well. So there you go. All right. There you are. That's been me. Totally amazing. I am, as always, revolting. And I just cannot resist. <sighs> and I'm off. Stay amazing. The home of scientific knowledge, truth, discovery, research, rebuilds, repairs, and, of course, success. Since the 1st of January 2K19. Over and out. Bye.